Hi, this is Lily Cotilla. Welcome to Live In 4D. Personality parts pie people, or personality parts to be succinct, and family fantasy friends, F3, are two different types um, of modalities to incorporate into your family. Personality parts, we all have them. This term I made up um, stemming, radiating out of ego states therapy. But basically, attached to each one of our internal emotions, we can identify a name to go along with that, if you will. So when you're feeling angry, you can come up with a name for you or your partner or the child in your family to identify this anger state. If you notice um, somebody being super, quote, needy emotionally one day, there can be a name associated with this type of state. Maybe someone has a tendency to go to loneliness or some sadness. You can identify names uh, representing these internal emotional states of the person. And they may be internal emotional states, but as you're in a relationship with other, you also notice how these internal states manifest externally. And so when you attach a name to these emotional states, it's helpful for a myriad of reasons. One, we often don't see ourselves accurately because we're in this state internally. So if someone from the outside references one of your internal emotional states and says, hey, you know, is this is Evelyn coming on right now? Because I'm kind of catching some glimpses of her meaning if Evelyn was attached to an angry state. It can be helpful for the receiver to hear a reflection from outside such that she can monitor internally and check in with herself. What's going on? Is is Evelyn starting to come out? Is um, What am I getting angry about here? What's What's going on for me? You know, this isn't about anything multiple personality disorder type thing related. Scratch that off the list entirely. Ego states therapy is identifying internal emotions and of self and of partner. And you guys can really have some fun with this. But aside from fun, it's more of a guide that is helpful. So the self-awareness and identification of where this is coming from kicks in. And it's helpful for the partner or the family member because it shows that you're connected and you're noticing these micro subtle aspects that are manifesting in either body language or talk or tone or restlessness or whatever it is. And again, you may notice as a watcher these subtleties even more quickly than the person experiencing them. So by incorporating personality parts into your relationship, you can prevent friction from happening before it gets to a certain level because you have the pre-steps to start noticing these different aspects of personality, these different emotional states. And the name just helps the name that you associate with these states helps for succinct purposes to identify these states quickly and it keeps it out of the current content. It helps to not get escalated or defensive or point fingers in the current content. You start to establish just baseline personality internal aspects of self that also affect other externally. So I just threw out one name, Evelyn, but you can throw out other names like Mel. Um, if Mel Gibson somehow in one of his movie roles reminds you of an internal state of an emotion that a person is experiencing. Um, so when you come up with these personality parts, reach for characters that are we're all familiar with culturally that in, a, in an aspect of a movie or a book are parallel with the same emotional aspects that you're picking up on and detecting from a partner or a child or a parent. Um, you can also identify them for yourself. They don't have to be given to you as labels from other. Family fantasy friends is different from personality parts because family fantasy friends, you just grab for in-the-moment characters, access them that are 
funny or to make statements or to make requests or to let somebody know if, you know, he's being a certain way or she's being a certain way. It's a method of not attacking or, um, yeah, just, it's a way to bring other insights and directional angles into the relationship, but it's more situational based and it's more about dynamics. Um, and it's more fun and lighthearted. The other one isn't serious, but it's about personality parts. It's about the internal emotional states that we experience. And Family Fantasy Friends is more about using these external characters and props to hyperbolize, exaggerate, um, make prominent points to set certain things aside from the mundane of relationships so that they really stand out in the mind of other um, and again, there are somatic ways to communicate other than just using talk-based communication, which opens up for more connection and shares that common platform, which we don't have in our minds all the time when we're just using words because we can have two very different schematic pictures associated with those words internally, even though the words are the same that we share and listen to. We can also have two very different emotional attachments to these words. But so when you move into body and the recreation with family fantasy friends, it helps to create a lot more connection beyond just talk language. So those are the main differences between personality parts, pie pieces, or whatever you want to call it, personality parts, and family fantasy friends.